Hi, I'm Jan Arnold, co-founder of CND, and today I'm excited to introduce another breakthrough from CND called Brisa Light Removable Sculpting Gel. This is the next generation of removable gel technology that combines the superior performance of award-winning Brisa Gel with the superior removability of CND Shellac for a superior new technology in Brisa Light. Brisa Light Sculpting Gel is designed to build length and shape when the natural nail needs a little light enhancing. It's easy on, four times easier to control than other gels. It's easy off, five times easier to remove than soakable gels. And it has exceptional wear. The cutting edge of gel technology has just been moved again. Use Brisa Light Sculpting Gel on clients needing that extra shape or length enhancement without the time commitment of a permanent gel. It's also safely applied and removed without nail damage. So let's take a look at the technique now. The service begins with a thorough PEP, or P-E-P, -E on each nail to remove oil and debris that can cause lifting and will ensure Brisa Light adheres to the natural nail plate. P, perform a manicure. Have the clients wash their hands with soap and water and towel dry. Then massage cool blue into the client's hands to cleanse and help prevent transmission of germs. Shape the extension edge of each nail with the Kanga file. Apply a small amount of cuticle away evenly around the cuticle of each nail. Gently slide a cuticle pusher along the nail plate towards the cuticle area and along the lateral fold to lift and loosen any non-living tissue from the nail plate. Remove any excess cuticle away and use a curette to remove non-living tissue up to the eponychium and lateral fold. Scrub nails thoroughly with soap and a damp brush, then rinse with warm water to remove the cuticle remover and soap. Towel dry. Next, E, eliminate surface contaminants, and P, purify nail plate layers with scrub fresh. Scrub the surface of the nails, then gently pull lateral folds back and scrub thoroughly to be sure all areas of the nail are completely clean. Next, apply a form or tip to the nail to add length. Today, we chose a C&D Velocity tip. Remember, when using a tip, scrub fresh should be applied after tip application to ensure tip adhesion to the natural nail. Now we're ready to apply Brisa Light Sculpting Gel. Start by applying one thin layer of Brisa Light Base Coat. Use a very thin coat over the entire nail and seal the extension edge. Apply to five nails at a time and cure each hand for 10 seconds in the C&D UV lamp. Do not remove the top film after removing the nails from the lamp. Now it's time to create the enhancement with Brisa Light Sculpting Gel. Take a small scoop of Brisa Light White Sculpting Gel and allow a string to form. Touch the tip of the string to the side wall of the nail and drape across creating a smile line. Then fill in the extension edge with the remaining gel on the brush. For even greater control, here's a little trick. Leave a thin layer of gel on the brush and dip it into cool blue, then mold and smooth zone one. Brisa Light holds its shape beautifully so you can apply Brisa Light to all five nails without the worry of pooling or running. Just look at the control you have, which gives you the confidence to create perfect enhancements. Cure each hand for two minutes in the C&D lamp, but do not remove the top film. Now we'll build zones two and three by placing a scoop of Brisa Light Neutral Pink Sculpting Gel onto the center of the nail. 
Guide the product from side to side, rotating the brush at a 45 degree angle and tapering toward the side walls while keeping the bulk of the gel in the vertical center of the nail. Gently ease the gel back toward the cuticle area, lightening the touch in the middle of the nail. Apply to all five nails, then cure each hand for two minutes in the CND UV lamp. Now remove the top film with 99% isopropyl alcohol and a plastic back pad. And finish the nail using a blizzard file to define and shape. Smooth the surface with a boomerang padded file, making sure to remove all the shine and remove any dust. Now we'll finish the enhancement by applying one thin layer of Brisolite top coat. This layer delivers unbeatable shine that lasts three weeks. Be sure to seal the extension edge to ensure long wear. Now cure each hand for two minutes in the CND lamp. Remove the top film with 99% isopropyl alcohol and a plastic back pad. Then massage solar oil into the nails and skin. Look at the gorgeous high gloss finish and radiant shine. And it's not just a pretty face. This nail is good to go for three weeks of durable protection and resilient wear. Now let's go extreme. This next look transforms nails and is ideal for clients with flat, ski jump, or bitten nails, turning nails that clients are dying to hide into nails to die for. Just like any other Brisolite service, the technique begins with PEP, P-E-P. -E Once the nails are pepped, divide the nail into four equal vertical parts with a pencil. Start by drawing a line down the center of the nail, dividing the nail in half, then into four quarters. Then, shape the extension edge, removing the nail's outside corner, filing up into the side walls at a 90 degree angle. Use the pencil lines to help with symmetry. Then apply Scrub Fresh to eliminate contaminants and purify nail layers. Next, we'll prepare a clear form so we can add length and shape to the natural nail. To help the form hold a sleeker C-curve shape, we'll adhere the pre-shaped metal tabs to the sticky back of a silver performance form. Cut out a square U-shape using the form's perforations and inside grid as your guide. Peel the cut metal away from the silver performance form and apply to the back of a clear performance form. This will give it the added support we need for this extreme look. Select a dowel that fits between the top two halves of the nail. The correct dowel size should line up to the edges of the two outer lines. Cut the Performance Form's back tab and pre-tailor the edge to deepen the curve if necessary. Wrap the Performance Form around the large end of the dowel to create the C-curve on the form. Cleanse the nail with Scrub Fresh to remove the pencil lines, then open the back tabs to allow the form to slide over the finger. Place the form at a 45 degree angle under the natural nail and gently squeeze the lateral folds of the skin while easing the form into place. Check for proper fit. The form should be straight and parallel with the finger. The back tab should not connect and have about an eighth of an inch gap between the tabs. Once the form is in place, use the pre-selected dowel and place under the form. Gently squeeze the form around the dowel from the smile line to the end of the form to create an even and symmetrical C-curve. To slim the C-curve at the extension edge, select a dowel one size smaller than the original dowel. 
place under the form and squeeze only at the natural nail extension edge, creating two small darts in the form. Remove the hand tray from the C&D UV lamp for proper hand placement with forms. Now we're ready to create the enhancement. Start by applying one thin layer of Greasolite base coat over the entire nail. Apply to five nails at a time and cure each hand for 10 seconds in the C&D lamp. Do not remove the top film after removing the nails from the lamp. Next, apply a thin base layer of Brisolite Neutral Pink to the natural nail. Apply to five nails and cure each hand for two minutes in the C&D UV lamp. Now determine where to place the smile line in order to create an extreme illusion. Bear this placement in mind as you begin sculpting. Place a small amount of Brisa Light Neutral Pink Sculpting Gel in the center of Zone 2. Sculpt the gel to the desired smile line. Taper the gel in the back of Zone 2 so it blends into the natural nail. The product should be thicker at the apex and taper to the sidewalls. Apply to five nails and cure each hand for two minutes in the C&D UV lamp. Do not remove the top film after removing the nails from the lamp. Place a scoop of Brisolite Pure White Sculpting Gel in the middle of Zone 1 and press to each corner, rotating the brush to create a crisp smile line. Smooth to create a thin extension edge. Clean the sidewalls. Begin in the middle of the sidewall and brush up toward the smile line, then brush from the middle of the sidewall down toward the extension edge. Then clean the extension edge to create the length. Apply to five nails and cure each hand for two minutes in the C&D UV lamp. Do not remove the top film after removing the nails from the lamp. Add a second scoop of white sculpting gel to build the apex. Place the gel in the center of zone one, sculpting directly over the first layer, creating the smile wall only. Add additional white sculpting gel to fill in the rest of Zone 1. Leave a thin layer of gel on the brush and dip the brush into cool blue. Press the gel from sidewall to apex on both sides to sharpen the smile line and then smooth the bottom third of the extension edge. Apply to five nails and cure each hand for two minutes in the C&D UV lamp. Do not remove the top film after removing the nails from the lamp. Place a small bead of clear sculpting gel in zone two and smooth the gel up to the smile line, filling in any low spots. Then feather the gel to cover zone three. Use the tip of the brush and a very light touch to guide the product from side wall toward the vertical apex on both sides of the nail. Apply to five nails and cure each hand for two minutes in the C&D UV lamp. Now remove the top film with 99% isopropyl alcohol and a plastic back pad 
and then remove the performance form from the nail. To complete the extreme look, first lightly dull the shine using a boomerang buffer and then divide the nail into four even sections using a pencil. Shorten and shape the extension edge using a blizzard file. Refine the side walls, filing in an upward direction with a kanga file. Then, refine the cuticle line to blend into the natural nail. Next, thin and refine the very edge of the extension edge. Establish the apex, filing from apex toward the extension edge. Then file from the apex towards the cuticle line, creating a flattened surface. Smooth and refine the lower arch by placing the file under the side wall and filing up, keeping the file parallel to the finger. Turn the finger to the side and file flat on the side wall up from the lower arch on both sides of the nail. When you look down the barrel of the nail, the surface should look flat like the top of a stop sign or a pencil. Smooth and refine the enhancement by filing up from the side walls toward the apex on both sides. Repeat steps with the boomerang padded file to smooth and refine. Remove dust and finish the enhancement by applying Bresolite top coat. Be sure to seal the extension edge to ensure long wear. Now cure each hand for two minutes in the C&D UV lamp. Remove the top film with 99% isopropyl alcohol and a plastic back pad. Then massage solar oil into the nails and skin. Dramatic and sleek, this extreme enhancement is for clients who need transformation. It takes a little extra time, so be sure to charge a little extra for this service. When it's time for a follow-up service, Bresolite sculpting gels can easily be removed and reapplied. It can also be rebalanced, offering you complete flexibility to provide the ideal service for each client. To safely remove gels, reduce the entire enhancement with a blizzard file Apply cotton that has been saturated in C&D shellac nourishing remover to each nail and wrap the entire fingertip with foil. This will allow the product to warm to body temperature and speed the removal process. Leave the foil and cotton on the finger for 30 minutes. Once the time is up, remove the foil from the nails and remove the soft product with an orange wood stick, working from the cuticle line to the extension edge. Never remove product in the opposite direction and be careful not to scrape the natural nail too hard, which will remove surface layers of the natural nail plate and cause damage. Rub the nail with a plastic back lint-free pad soaked with nourishing remover to remove any remaining product residue. Wash your client's hands and condition nails and skin with solar oil. Then massage the entire hand with Spa Manicure Almond Hydrating Lotion. As you can see, the client's nails are healthy and ready for a fresh application of Bresolite Sculpting Gel. Bresolite Sculpting Gel is the next generation of removable gel technology for superior performance and removability for nails that need length and shape enhancement. It's easy to remove and exceptionally durable. Kick your gel services to the next level with the new cutting edge of gel technology. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.
Hi, I'm Jan Arnold, co-founder of CND, and today I'm thrilled to introduce another breakthrough from CND that will serve as the ultimate support system to CND shellac called Brisa Light Smoothing Gel. This superior removable gel is what your clients have been waiting for, a light and lovely, truly removable gel layer that perfects and smooths the surface of the natural nail before shellac is applied. Just as a makeup foundation allows the powder to go on more smoothly, or a lash conditioner extends the wear of your mascara, Brisa Light Smoothing Gel is a thin and plumping foundation layer that gives shapeless nails a durability boost while it further extends the wear of the shellac service to three flawless weeks. You will love it because it's easy on with no roughing of the natural nail, it's easy off with no soaking or filing, and it has exceptional wear with no yellowing or lifting. The cutting edge of gel technology has just been moved again. Use Brisolite Smoothing Gel before all of your C&D shellac manicures and give your clients' nails the boost in shape they need and give yourself a boost in sales and profits by delivering a truly superior shellac state-of-the-art service. The Brisolite Smoothing Gel service begins with a thorough PEP, or P-E-P, -E on each nail to remove oil and debris that can cause lifting and will ensure it adheres to the natural nail plate. P, perform a manicure. Have the client wash their hands with soap and water and towel dry. Then massage cool blue into the client's hands to cleanse skin and help prevent transmission of germs. Remove any existing nail color from the natural nail using an acetone-based polish remover like C&D Shellac Nourishing Remover and a plastic back lint-free pad. Shape the extension edge of each nail with the Kanga file. Apply a small amount of cuticle away evenly around the cuticle of each nail. Gently slide a cuticle pusher along the nail plate toward the cuticle area and along the lateral fold to lift and loosen any non-living tissue from the nail plate. Remove any excess cuticle away from the nail and use a curette to remove non-living tissue up to the eponychium and lateral fold. Scrub nails thoroughly with soap and a damp brush, then rinse with warm water to remove the cuticle remover and soap. Towel dry. Use a manicure nipper to carefully remove any loosened non-living tissue as well as any loose pieces of skin or hangnails. Use a gentle touch during cuticle removal to protect the seals and never cut living tissue as it can lead to infection. Next, E, eliminate surface contaminants and P, purify nail plate layers with scrub brush. Scrub the surface of the nails and then gently pull lateral folds back and scrub thoroughly to be sure all areas of the nail are completely clean. Now we're ready to apply Brisolite Smoothing Gel. Start by applying one thin layer of Brisolite Base Coat. Apply a very thin coat over the entire nail and seal the extension edge. Apply to five nails at a time and cure each hand for 10 seconds in the C&D lamp. Do not remove the top film after removing the nails from the lamp. Next, apply Brisa Light Smoothing Gel. Place a small scoop onto the nail in zone three. Gently ease into the cuticle area, then smooth the gel toward the extension edge as if you were applying nail polish. Smooth the gel over the entire nail from cuticle to extension edge. Leave a tiny free margin at the cuticle area and sidewalls and seal the extension edge. Apply to five nails and cure each hand for two minutes in the C&D lamp. Do not remove the top film after removing the nails from the lamp. Next, apply one thin layer of Brisolite top coat to each nail. Be sure to seal the extension edge to ensure long wear. Now cure each hand for two minutes in the C&D lamp. 
Remove the top film with 99% isopropyl alcohol and a plastic back pad. Then massage solar oil into the nails and skin. As you can see, this service is quick, easy, and an ideal option for clients with natural nails who just need a little perfecting or added strength. As you just saw, Brisa Light Smoothing Gel looks thin, natural, and gorgeous on its own, making natural nails look truly flawless. But when you want to add color, it will serve as the ultimate support system to C&D shellac, smoothing out imperfections, ridges, or flaws just prior to applying color. In our next demonstration, we'll show you how to create a beautiful, natural-looking French manicure using Brisolite Smoothing Gel with C&D Shellac. The application process starts out the same with PEP. Then apply Brisolite Base Coat. Seal each nail and cure each hand for 10 seconds in the C&D lamp. Apply Brisolite Smoothing Gel and cure for 2 minutes. Now, here's the difference. Instead of applying Brisa Light Top Coat, go right to C&D Shellac Color Coat. Apply two thin layers of a sheer pink C&D Shellac color over the surface and along the edge of the nail, and then cure for two minutes. Use C&D Shellac and Cream Puff to create a thin tip along the edge of the nail. Be extra careful to go thin with the white because if it's too thick, it can wrinkle during curing. If you need to, detail the white smile line using a gel brush and a little 99% isopropyl alcohol. And then cure for two minutes. Now apply a thin layer of C&D shellac top coat to each nail surface and seal the extension edge to ensure long wear and cure for a final two minutes. The final step is to wipe the surface thoroughly with 99% isopropyl alcohol to remove the top film. Then condition the nails and surrounding soft tissue with solar oil and send a bottle home with the client for daily conditioning. Aren't these nails gorgeous? With Brisolite Smoothing Gel and C&D Shellac, strength and beauty are perfectly balanced and Brisa Light delivers exceptional wear, which means this manicure will last three weeks without chipping, lifting, or yellowing. Brisa Light is just as easy off as it is easy on. Brisa Light Smoothing Gel can be easily removed during each follow-up service, then reapplied without ever using a file. Instead of a file, the removal process uses C&D Shellac Remover Wraps. To apply the wraps, remember the acronym SIT. S. Saturate the cotton pad with C&D Shellac Nourishing Remover. I in place. Be sure the cotton pad is directly over the nail and in place for efficient removal. T, tighten for 15. Go really tight and set the timer for 15 minutes. When 15 minutes are up, it's time to remove the wraps. Grip each finger and apply slight pressure to the nail. Using a twisting motion, pull the remover wrap from the nail. The Brisa-like coating will swell and soften with much of it coming off in the wrap. If necessary, gently slide off any remaining product with an orange wood stick. Rub the nail with a plastic back lint-free pad soaked with C&D shellac nourishing remover to remove any remaining product residue. Wash your client's hands and condition the nails and skin with solar oil. Then massage the entire hand with Spa Manicure Almond Hydrating Lotion. As you can see, the client's nails are healthy and ready for a fresh application of Brisa Light Smoothing Gel. 
With Breezelite Smoothing Gel, you can create perfected nails that look beautiful for three weeks, actually extending the life of your C&D shellac manicure. It's four times more controllable than other gels, five times easier to remove, and it offers 100% better adhesion. Now, how's that for a big boost to your business? Enjoy using Breezelite and be sure to charge a 20% premium to your C&D shellac service. Thanks so much for joining me. See you next time.